ending afternoon good evening what time are you guys watching this video for me from this side it's in the afternoon and guys i think you can feel the sound of the water the river oh my god you know, like i just wish like right now because i think nowadays like taking shower by the riverside it's becoming one of my favorite things to do i wish i can just get in this water the only problem is that this water is cold oh my god let me try like this water is cold Woo. But I think it's because it has been draining a little bit. Anyway, guys, let's not lose the focus. The aim of the video of on our today's video, uh, guys, you know we're in the village. We are in an African village, and I thought like, why not? Because what I want to do today, it's something that I was raised doing: going to the bush, going to the forest to collect firewood. Yes, I just told you that we are going to be collecting firewood. Like me, the way I've been raised, you're like yo. We don't have our cooking gas, get in that forest, get in that bush, and bring us what? Firewood. Yeah. And guys, like I just want to relieve some of my child memories. I want to collect this firewood with you. And maybe on the next video, we might cook a meal with the same, same firewood that we are going to collect. So what can you do the best? Just stick on this channel if you're watching this video and you have been subscribed to I am Paris. Kindly consider subscribing. Join this beautiful, amazing channel. And I also have membership packs. You can join my membership packs. And without that much talking, guys, here is my beautiful big forest. Oh my god. Woo. Okay, yes, guys. So we go. Let's go collect this fire food. Yeah. One thing with me, if there is something that I have phobia for, let me show you this case by the way. If there is one thing that I have phobia for, when it comes to forest and the bush and stuff, it's that I have phobia for snakes. I just hope there is no snakes in this bush because I can't withstand snakes. Oh my god. Why am I even starting to talk about snakes and I'm just touching right now? Oh god, please. You know your daughter and snakes, they don't get along. Guys, the phobia I have for snake, it's, it's such a huge one that even if I'm watching a video and I see a snake, we are done with that movie. I can't. So anyway, I want to be collecting firewood and guys, come along with me and tell me, are you going to fetch firewood? And how was it? Because I remember in my last video and I was taking shower, somebody was telling me, uh, Paris, you just taken me back to my childhood memories. I was taking shower outside with my sister at 21 years old. And this person was like, you you're even much better because you're putting on clothes for me you are like totally naked and i'm like even for me when we were kids we were taking shower outside guys like you know some t sometimes like you people you might think like these videos that you're doing like it's just for content but to be honest some of us this is how we are raised this is how the life in the village was and when it comes to taking shower in the river i remember like uh, there is a time that when we used to be back at home in my village we were still kids oh my god I don't know if my mom will see this video and remember this story. So, we were taking shower in the terraces. And one of my cousins took the clothes and ran away with them. So you can imagine the scenario that... Hi! <laughs> story for another day. Oh my god. You must start telling you guys my childhood memories. Oh my god, you guys. Anyway, yeah, so like uh, I've always like grown up fetching firewood and stuff. And today I want to take you guys along with me because I want to go. I'm supposed to do a cooking video. A traditional cooking video not in the gas but with the firewood and i thought of when i'm because i don't have any firewood at home where i'm doing this video i thought of why not come collect this firewood with you guys it's so much i love you i'm taking you along with me so let's go okay we don't even have to start we, we already have one so when you when you like when you collect this firewood okay are these guava trees there is no guavas very focus you're collecting firewood don't guavas so when you collect for you like this, like you have to cut these these stems. Is it stems? Yeah. So that at least when you are cutting it, let's say for example, you because for me how we are used to how me in my village we used to carry our firewood, like we carry our firewood like this. I know there are those that put it in the head, others like guys. I will show you. Just watch the video till the end so that you can know how we are going to be carrying our firewood. We have already started taking firewood. Woo. Oh, this is not dry yeah this is dry so the good thing with this one when you're letting the fire 
you start like putting it so it becomes easier to put the fire on oh my god hey it's going it's like god is just favoring me look at this fire in. wow oh this one has stone jeez oh, that's bad yeah Ah, it's like I'm going to collect this firewood in a very short while, more than I thought actually. Oh my god, and it's like it wants to rain. Oh yeah, yes, guys. Hey, men, I remember when we used to be kids. Like, if you could go fetch firewood and go home without firewood, it could be a story. This one has stones, this one has stones, but. Over here, this will be like my collecting point. I'll be going collecting the firewood, then I come and put it here. So here we have more. Oh, but this is an asshole. Oh. Guys, look at this. And I won't tell you guys about this. I won't tell you guys about this uh about this tree. I don't know. Guys, look at this. If you know you're a Kamba and in this comment section, can you tell me is this Mukonzo? Yeah, Mukonzo in Kamba language. That is what we call it. Mukonzo. Mukonzo. Is it Mukonzo? Please, if you're a Kamba, please tell me is this Mukonzo? Because this one here, when it comes to lighting fire, like it's one of the best ever. Look at these guys. This is one of the best when it comes to lighting fire because it makes like you don't have smoke. The only problem that it is the thorns. But sometimes when you're going to collect firewood, you can go with a panga. So when you take such something like this, you remove the thorns. So that at least when you're carrying it, let's say for example, you're supposed to carry the firewood with your back. Because there are those that will carry the firewood with their back. Others will carry it with their hands. Others will carry it with the head. So if you go to collect the firewood with a, with a panga, you'll remove the thorns. But because I don't have like, I don't have a, a panga, I don't think that I'm going to collect this, but this is so good. Mokonzwe in Kamba language. Please, can you tell me in English what this is called? Yeah, that one. Tell me in the comment section. Yeah, so this is so good, but I won't, I won't take it. So, another day we will have this. But not today. Oh, wow. Here there is many firewood. Yeah. Hey, look at this hey guys look at this wow hey wow it's like i just want a jackpot and guys let's say for example your hands are not capable of breaking the firewood you break it with your knees Whew. hey it's like i'm going to cook faster than i thought i thought i was going to struggle looking for this firewood so guys, my next video, I will be cooking one of the best African traditional meals with this firewood that we are collecting. Wow. Our knees at it again. And yeah, there is many firewood. But the river won't, the river is down there. I'm not ready to fall down. I'm not ready to fall down. Whew. Hey, another one. Hey, guys. It's like God was, it's like God is just smiling at me. It's like, my daughter, there's a lot of fire who's there. We put that on there. Have you ever experienced this or maybe you are born series you've never done this for me this i've always done it it's not my first time 
and it won't leave a last time. Because there is something with the food that is cooked with firewood. Oh my god, that food slams, it tastes different. I'm going to make you one meal, one of one of these five days. So let's see on this side, do we have more fire? Yeah. like guys you see this i think here is all get enough firewood look at this i just hope it doesn't belong to somebody before they come and tell me hey but they have remembered when you used to be kids you know when you're when you going to collect firewood and let's say for example like you have your you have like the forest that belongs to your family guys this is, this is a secret i'm telling you so when you go to collect firewood so you know like uh, the bushes the forest they have the territories they have the marks that this is the end of this somebody's land this is the end of this somebody's forest so when you go to collect the firewood and maybe you just like by any mistake go to the neighbors of the other person's land to collect firewood and the owner gets you there my friend you better know how to run because hey so when i just saw this i was just like i just remember or maybe sometimes you, you might find at the fence there is firewood like you see for this one instance you can tell a fence when you see one like you can tell like for this one here this is a fence so if you're to collect firewood because you can see there is firewood definitely here so if you collect firewood from this fence and the owner finds you my brother my sister it's Muguni Ponye. If you don't know how to run, please just pray to God to give you wings so that you can fly. Because you won't have to be so when I'm just catching this, it's just like hit me. What anyway? Let's not be negative. Yeah, so it's like I just want a jackpot. Yeah, my god, I can't wait. Guys, I can't wait to cook the meal with this fire food for you all. Mm. And you can tell me which meal you want me to cook. Me, I already know what I'm going to cook. It's one of the best African dishes. It's very nutritious. But you know, guys, I always tell you what. Your wish is my command. Whichever meal you want me to make for you, I will make it for you guys. So, you tell me there. Hey, this is difficult. It is. Hey, please cooperate. Oh my God. Our knees again at work. Guys, I think maybe let's go and see how much firewood we have. This is yet an, again another thing that you can do when you're fetching firewood. Like you put it in different places. Then at the end of the day, when you are taking your firewood home, you just carry all the bundles that you had and you take them to one place and see how much firewood did you collect. So, guys, let's go and see how much firewood we collected. If it's not enough, we will still continue to fetch our firewood. This is how it is done in the village, actually. So, we just Put our fire hood together. Collected by me. Guys, look at this. This firewood is good enough to make us a meal. Like, this is good enough to make us a very nice, tasty, well cooked meal. So, you can tell me in the comment section which meal do you think we are going to be making? Because that might be our next video making you 
one of the best African dishes. And guys, I told you, what meal do you think you're going to be making? Or what meal would you love me to make for you guys? Because I'm going to make it and I will make it with joy, with love. And you guys, you little on camera, I'm sorry, but yeah. At the end of the day, you guys will have tested my meal. So guys, basically, that's how we fetch firewood in an African home, in an African village. And um, what can I say? Yeah, like it's, it's basically like that. And I was telling you guys in the comment section, you can tell me like, have you ever fetched firewood or not? Have you ever, like, have you ever fetched firewood and in the bush? Not like, cause you know, there are those people like, uh, there, are, there is four different ways. Is it four? No. There is different ways of getting firewood. So let's say like a tree like this, it's cut. So after this tree is cut, it's put to dry. After drying up, the owner of the tree will sell the firewood to another home. Or maybe the owner of the home might be like, okay, my, my forest, my bush, forest or bush, each one. Uh, my forest, my bush has a lot of firewood, has a lot of trees. Let me cut some down so that we can use it as firewood or maybe others might be like uh we don't want to use the firewood and stuff we can use charcoal so that is yet another way of getting firewood and but the most the one that people do mostly is fetching like this like and most of the people that do this actually but they guys if you don't know this it's usually the kids in the home even if like the parents go to fetch firewood it's not that much because you know like these are your parents they have brought you up there is no way that they will allow you they will go to the forest to the bush to look for firewood and get firewood yet you are there guys like that is one thing with african home anytime any day whatever like that's how it is and guys, again another thing uh always in an african home guys i'm telling you this story it's because me personally i've been raised doing all these chores again let's say for example you are a kid in an african homestead you are looking after the cows, after the goats, after the sheep, after the donkeys, whichever domestic animals that you think an African home usually have. You must be looking after them and you're supposed to be looking at firewood. So guys, like, if I tell you, like, in an African home, in an African home, the way we are raised, we are raised as strong people. Like, you can, you can multitask. Because me, remember one day, hmm, this, this one is a story for my uncle. I remember one day, my uncle had given me a goat. So, oh my God. guys, I have a lot of stories as child, child, you know, like, just watching this firewood, it just brought me a lot of memories when I was growing up. Let me tell you this story, guys. So, when I was growing up as a kid, and it was me and my cousin, Lynette, at high, so, like, we used to be looking at the cows, at the goats, as I've told you guys, like, you will be looking after, after the animals, and you are doing two things at a go. So, we are looking at the cows, at the cow, at the goats, at the goats, then you are fetching firewood. And remember, guys, I told you what? When you're fetching firewood, sometimes you need a panka. So that's like when you get a firewood, let's say for example, you might get something like this. And it's too, like you can't cut it with your knees. I think you guys, you saw me cutting a firewood with your, with my knees. Because if you get a firewood like this, this one here can cook a meal. Let's say for example, you're, you're making githeri. This one can make githeri. Githeri takes like, githeri takes how many minutes? Not minutes, hours. Githeri takes hours to cook. So you cannot make githeri with such firewood. You need firewood like this. So when you want to take such a firewood, you cannot carry it with your knees. You cannot carry it when it is like this. You need a panga. So we used, to, I like, we were looking at cows at goats. Meet my cousin, and we have our panga. We are looking after the goats and the cows. Oh my God! Let me tell you, Maina. And you know, sometimes these cows and these goats, like they are like no, not cows, goats mostly. They are like where you're not telling them to go, it is where they will go. So. One goat was like, this goat, it was called Mudu. What was the name of this goat? Jeez, I'm forgetting. Muduela, yes. Muduela, Muduela, it meant like it used to be limping. Oh, 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 oh. It was a limping goat. But this goat, my uncle had given it to me. Like this goat was mine. It was Muduela. It was because like one of the, is it the hand? Yeah, it was not straight. So it used to go like this. And it used to be that one goat that, it will go everywhere. It will run and run and run and be like, you aren't getting me. So like that moment, I'm having the panga. I'm supposed to be fetching firewood. And I see this goat running to somebody's farm, to somebody's chamber. That time, like uh, we used to have the kills that another neighbor, that this neighbor had. And I'm like, oh my God, if this goat could get, if this goat could get to that, to that uh, neighbor's farm, 
The meeting that I could have gotten from my uncle. Hmm. Sorry for another day. That is an African homies. So, remember this time, I have what? I have my panga. What, what was I doing? I was collecting firewood. So seeing it, I was like, and uh, there is, like, let's say for example, when you're looking after these animals, you have something like a stick that you throw, that you throw at the, that you throw at the god so that, like, they cannot go. So me, like, I thought just if my hand, I was having that whatever, it's called kidney. Come back, please, come back. The one that you throw at the gods not to run. Now, according to my mind, I was like, maybe I'm throwing the panga at the gods. Not knowing that I'm throwing a what? A panga. Guys, if I tell you I cut the hand, is it the hand or the leg of this god? I cut it. With the, with the panga. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I told you guys, the good thing, you remember the story, the good thing, this god belongs to me. So, when we got home, and I told my uncle what happened, I've cut this god, and I'm like, my uncle was just like, the good thing is your god, so you're just going to kill it and eat it. So guys, like, really like, when I was just collecting this firewood, like, it has really, like, brought back a lot of memories. And I just, I would love, like, I will continue doing, doing this village content, because it will bring me back a lot of childhood memories. The way I've been raised. The way, oh my god, my mom, my aunt, my uncles are big shout out to you guys. Like, oh my god, it just brought me a lot of memories. I didn't even, I didn't think of that. Wait, I think I have another story, but that is story for another day. I know guys I've talked to you for a very long time. But can you tell me in the comment section? Can you relate? What is one of that? What is one of your one what is one of the memories that you remember when you were a kid growing up? You didn't you're like, oh my god, how did you even do this? For me, I remember I told you guys, my cousin took our clothes when we were swimming at the terrace. My cousin, Jeff, how could you do that? That was him. My cousin, we were kids. And that time we were looking at after the cows and the goats. Me and my other friends and my other cousins, we were just there swimming in the terrace. Guys, do you know what is a terrace? Do you know what a terrace is? You can imagine it's so dust, it's so dirty, it's so muddy. But we are there, we are having time of our life. Then you like, those memories are one of the best memories ever. And then my cousin is just like, hmm, people are enjoying without me. He took our clothes, took them home. Hey guys, hey! I think I'm, any of these memories, I'm, hey, oh my god, guys, if you want to know more of these memories, just subscribe, because the more we do this village content, the more these memories come back, and the more I tell you guys, and the more I remember these memories, the more I want to do this village content for you guys, okay? So, thank you guys for watching the video till the end. If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing to this channel, give the video a like, sorry, I'm having flow. Give the video a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And if you can join my, my membership packs, you can join them. I will really appreciate it. And guys, we meet on the next video. For now, it's a goodbye. And behind the camera, it was my girl, Janet Boke. Please, guys, subscribe to our channel as always. In the first comment or maybe in the description box, you will find her channel there. There is anybody that holds the camera for me because all we do here is supporting one another. Why not give them a shout out? And yeah, so we meet on the next one.